Welcome to Fun Facts with the Fred, and today we're going to talk about flamingos. What is it about flamingos that makes them so much fun? Is it their funky shape, the exotic name, or their intense, gorgeous color? What do you think? If you ask me, I would say all of the above. So follow me to find out all the fun facts about flamingos. If you guess that the word flamingo comes from the word flame, then you are right. It actually comes from Spanish flamengo, which means flame-colored. The Greek meaning of their name is red feathers. And even their scientific name, Phonicopterus rubber, means the red-winged phoenix. All these names were obviously given to them for their intense color. Did you know that in ancient Egypt, flamingos were a symbol of the sun? Did you know that flamingos live in really large groups? Sometimes even thousands of flamingos in one group. And there are different species all around the world beside Australia. Hey guys, why don't you like Australia? Are flamingos really red, orange, or pink? The shocking answer is no. Flamingos are actually gray. So how did they become so fashionably pink? You know how they say that if you eat too much carrots, you become orange? Well, it's the same thing with flamingos. They eat lobsters and planktons, which are full of carotenoids. And these carotenoids break into color pigments and dyes their feathers in red, orange, pink colors. This also explains the diversity in their color, since it's completely dependent on their diet. I guess it's another way to demonstrate how you are what you eat. Who says pink is for girls? Flamingos say pink is for all. And so is nest building, chick feeding, and every other life chort. Female male couples build their nest together, and they even both produce special milk for their little baby flamingos. So, flamingo feminism is flaminism? Flamingo is also the name of the oldest active hotel in Las Vegas, opened in December 1946. Why did they call it flamingo? It all started when famous mobster Bugsy Siegel looked for new places to invest. He arrived in Las Vegas, which was quite empty at the time, and bought two-thirds of this hotel. You know how in old mafia stories everybody has a nickname? So Bugsy Siegel decided to name the hotel after his girlfriend. She had long skinny legs, so everybody called her, yeah you guess. After the Flamingo Hotel opened, it still didn't make enough profit. So the Mafia got angry. And when the Mafia gets angry... Today you can admire Bugsy Siegel's memorial plaque, right in front of the hotel's wedding chapel. The unique shape and color of flamingos inspired many works of art. One of them is this huge flamingo statue in Chicago made by Alexander Calder in 1973. Flamingos are famous for their signature standing on one leg. But there's no explanation for it. At first, scientists thought that it was for keeping their temperature, but then they discovered they stand like that in warm water as well. Another possibility was that the free leg was used for hunting or camouflage. But that didn't really make any sense when their diet is based on seaweed and shrimps. The theory I like suggests that since flamingos are so tall, it takes too much energy to get the blood all the way down and up again in two legs. So they just stand on one leg and switch from time to time in order to save effort and energy. What's your favorite theory? Can you come up with a better one? Would you solve this mystery? Let me know in the comments. See you soon in my next video.